All right, it's time for episode 12 of Mashiro no Oto, or the final episode. Yeah, because the series is done at 12. Let's just get started in 3, 2, 1, go. And they brought back the original opening for this episode. Good, because the last one was a get us for plot. I, it wasn't as much as a banger as Blizzard. Like, this song is... Such a good song. It's like the the combination of like modern rock plus the traditional shamisen. So it's like boom. So far the story is about more or less Setsu trying to find his own voice or his own sound. His auto. I wonder what the consensus was about the whole like opening change. Because I remember I thought it sucked, but it was just for plot. But like, you know. Like up until now, I'd give the series like... Maybe a 3.5 out of 5, 4, and then like a 7 or 8 out of 10. So I like how Setsu's like sound started kind of, it, it was Matsugoro's, and then now it's like his own, so it's like bang 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 bang. I know you can't hear it because, you know, copyright sucks. But he is, <laughs> he's beating the shit out of that damn Shabisun. There we go. It's a layered type of music. Sounds boring and then you hit that that kick. The, the uh, ha! And then fucking and then all the good shit starts going off. Yeah, it makes people remember about their past with uh, his sound. Like, Throughout the story, like, Umiko's been a dick. Like, enforcing her, um, her ideals onto Setsu, who's her son. And, like, Setsu wants to do his own thing. 
I mean, shit, I can relate, bro. <laughs> Fucking. I'm stuck in that cycle. Damn. Hey, good job. A layered performance. It's funny because Sisu never wanted to do any of these competitions until fucking Umiko made him do it. Oh, okay. I thought like everyone left, but it was just shadowed out. Alright, and then you got this guy who's always on Setsu. Here we go. Tanuma, son of the fucking like Shamisen legend, yeah. Damn, he got his shit super customized. Look at that animation. It's fluid. It, I mean, it, it's been fluid. Like, throughout the whole show, but man, this is... Yeesh. Getting hot. Getting steamy. Like, man's is evaporating. So, like, the, the sound that I'm getting from this is like a, a spiral. Just how it just spins and spins and spins. <laughs> mm. 
And there it is. <laughs> oh, because he's fucking better than her. There we go. Setsu finally has motivation. He wants to beat someone. On his own volition. Not someone trying to push their shit onto them. <laughs> Some guy. <laughs> I was backhanded as shit, praising your performance and then, like, shitting on him, but saying, oh, I could beat that. Good. Now we've gone full circle with Setsu's story. At first he was told not to play the Shamisen until he found his voice. In third place, what the fuck? That's dookie ass. Our man didn't even get second. Kachi and the what? Oh shit. Damn, everyone's just shitting on him too. Ah blah blah Tanama. I mean, yeah, you gotta work the heel over to get the baby face. Like, some heat. So, I like how Kaji didn't even get a fucking thing. Like, he's out of, he's probably like 7th place or something like that, even though his fucking string broke. Mid-performance. Oh, that's okay. I see. It's a bad thing to change. Then, like, she could have rigged this shit to have Setsu, like, first place.
Come on, man. That shit was on purpose. Bitch. Fucking asshole. She's embarrassed of him? Fuck you. Fucking, I want to hear Matsugoro sound. Blah, blah, blah. I'm not fucking Matsugoro. Fuck you. What a fucking bitch. Want to talk about fucking all time characters you want to f see die? Shit. Ruma goes at the top. Cause that's the way they wanted him to play. I forgot Autonoma was his dad or something. <laughs> there you go. I mean, now. Oh, there you go. See, you pointed out. Because everyone is building all this pressure on Setsu, and it's unneeded. Like, th this is really a good build to build sympathy for your main character because, man, do I feel fucking bad for Setsu. Like, everyone's just shitting on him. Like, he, d he didn't even do anything wrong. Everyone just projected all of their expectations onto him. And they get mad that he's not delivering to their expectations.
fuck. That's that's so frustrating. Like, yeah, so it's a needs us a long time. I mean, <laughs> Sutsu is like more than motivated at this point. I mean, yeah, he's depressed as shit now. I reckon I would be too. But like, damn. Sutsu's gonna fucking kill himself. Well then, we just put a different thumbnail from the one that I was going to use, or the background I should say. Damn. So... That is the end of Mashiro no Oto. I still stick to my 3, 3.5 on the 5 scale. And then my seven, seven point five on the to call it ten scale. So let's try and wrap around a digestible version of what happened. Not just this episode, but in all the episodes. Sumashiro no Oto is about a guy named Setsu whose grandfather was a super amazing player of the shamisen. Too bad that he is like a country bumpkin that no one's ever heard of. <laughs> so, Matsugoro, his grandpa... Hold on, wait a minute. What the hell was that guy? Hold on, let me look back. Just a smidge. So it says to really go to a mountaintop and see some villager <laughs> and is he gonna learn from him? That'd be an interesting plot tool to season two. Like have set to travel, learn, and then come back. That's that's an extremely simple plot. Wow, damn. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, for season one, uh yeah. Matsugoro. Oh, so Matsugoro fucking died. And he told Setsu, don't play the shamisen until you find your own sound. However, you can take mine and twist it to your own. Right, so he's basically giving him a template and he's gonna twist around. <clears throat> so, Setsu travels to Tokyo, leaving his 
brother behind. And then at some like underground concert area, he plays the shamisen to fill in time for the main attraction who's this fucking looks like someone from Gax, but <laughs> but worse. Or, or or like a uh, bootleg gacked. Anyways, uh, Setsu gets a role to school by his mom Umako, who is the daughter of Matsugoro. And then a girl starts playing like Shamisen on her phone because it reminds her of her grandma. And then. Setsu's like, oh, what's that song? Where'd you get that from? And then they do the whole thing. And then they form the whole Shamisen Appreciation Club or something. And then there's like five people and they start playing. And Setsu, he's good on his own, but to chill with other people is kind of a learning experience because he's never played with others other than his brother. So that's a thing. What else? And then they announced the Matsug the Matsugoro Cup, where you get all these other people like Tanama and that other guy. And Setsu has never played in competition before, so he's more or less the the glue for the group competition, and then his own solo competition so everyone's piling their shit on set so they're like play like Matsugoro we want Matsugoro sound uh, travel back to my earlier statement no one knows who the fuck Matsugoro is so <laughs> he played like old traditional style and then he played the modern uh, contemporary style which got him only third place because it apparently it confused people. Judges are assholes. I've been one. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so now everyone, uh, they've experienced Setsu now, but until he gets seasoned like a like a meat he gets fucking roasted and just marinated and everything boom setsu and fucking uh mashiro no oto season two whenever that may be i don't know uh with that being said that was about a five minute review of what of the entire season so yeah, it was an okay show. It wasn't bad. I didn't think anything was bad about it. It wasn't like Joran, Princess of Snow and Blower. It just took a huge fucking nosedive. But this one, it, it was like, like straight line. It was flat. It was like, eh. but I, I thought it was okay. Uh, let me know what you think, as if anyone's ever going to get to this part of the fucking video. <sighs> like, comment, subscribe, on to the next. That was the final. No more Mashiro no Oto. It's over. Like, comment, subscribe, on to the next. Yeah!